I'm Bruno Correa, the safety car driver of Formula E, where I keep the race cars in check. They are designed to drive at peak performance, but only for 45 minutes. When Allianz asked me to find out if it is possible to drive long distance, fully electric, from one Formula E race to the other, I thought this might be a refreshing challenge. We are in Rome right now, in the city center. I was just checking for charging stations on my way to the next race of Formula E in Monaco. So let's go. Starting in Rome, I will make my way through Tuscany today. But before I go, I need to charge the car. I choose one of the most advanced, ultra-fast charging points where I will also meet my buddy Lorenzo, an expert in EV infrastructure. This is one example of uh, ultra-fast charging stations. It's up to 350 kilowatt power oh. per charging point. Where is this, all this energy coming from? So, as an LX way, we choose to have uh, only green energy on our charging stations. All the energy that we provide to our customer comes from renewable resources such as water, wind, and also geothermal. I saw that here you have solar panels so yeah, as well so to help. We decided to integrate also PV solar here, which is one of the first example of integration between solar and charging stations within an urban context. So you know that I'm going with this electric car to my next race in Monaco. Man, huh? uh, you have a very fun trip. Yeah, okay. Good I, luck. Hope, I hope I can find good charging <laughs> points. Have a Thank nice trip. Bye bye. Yeah. Good luck. Ciao. Somehow it feels good to know that I'm doing this trip only on green energy. My next stop is Italy's largest geothermal power plant, where part of the energy I'm driving on comes from. I'm doing a, a trip with an EV car, electric vehicle. Yes, what do you see. think if yeah. this, uh, this industry grows really a lot, uh, what will happen in the future? Sì, allora l'obiettivo in generale di Energy Green Power è quello di raggiungere il, il, la produzione di energia elettrica totalmente da rinnovabili. Quindi anche l'energia che poi arriva alle stazioni di ricarica. What are the benefits here for the region, the local community? Con il calore geotermico, oltre alla produzione di energia elettrica, viene, vengono teleriscaldati nove comuni. Oh. Nove comuni e oltre a questo poi abbiamo un, delle forniture diciamo di qualità nel senso che andiamo a fornire il calore per alcune aziende artigianali che fanno prodotti veramente di qualità come per esempio il birrificio che, che è qua vicino che produce birra artigianale utilizzando il calore geotermico e quindi la fonte geotermica. Fantastico eh? But the energy I'm driving on isn't the only thing that brought me closer to nature. One thing that I really enjoyed on this trip so far, it's very quiet, very silent. Uh, inside the car, you just hear your music, there is no noise, it's really cool. I had a lot of fun on these tiny roads in, uh, in Tuscany. Uh, tomorrow we have to plan a little bit more because it's a longer trip to Monaco. And let's see. Last night when I arrived at the hotel, I put my car on charge around 10 hours and honestly I was expecting to have a bit more energy <laughs> so I have to plan a new charging point on the way so that will take a bit longer. To do a trip like this it's a sort of a game between the driver and the machine because you always want to extract the max mileage from the car with the minimum energy it's a fun challenge because you have to adapt uh, your driving style and everything uh, to make sure that you arrive at your destination. Especially after this morning setback, let's see if I'll be on time for my dinner in Monaco tonight. Oh, apparently this doesn't work in this charging station. So I guess I need to find a different <laughs> charging point. Despite all advances in technology, the charging network remains an infrastructure in development. After I was unlucky twice already today, I had to go off route again. At least, I found this beautiful charging station in the countryside. Only a few kilometers left to my final destination. Due to the charging issues, just a bit behind schedule. It was a very quiet trip all the way. Of course, you have to plan it properly, that's, that's clear. 
But I think in the near future, if we find a way to store the energy and to transfer it to the batteries on a quicker way, the future is absolutely electric.